Hi, I'm Robin Davis, food editor at the Columbus Dispatch, and today we are gonna make meatloaf hamburgers, two things that dads love for Father's Day or really any time during the summer. To make a great meatloaf, we have that great tomatoey sauce, so we're gonna start with that. I'm gonna do about a half cup of ketchup, and we're gonna end up using this sauce both as a glaze for the burgers as they cook, and then we'll also use it in kind of place of ketchup. So we'll get this in a bowl. And we are gonna add a little bit of brown sugar. As though ketchup weren't sweet enough, but I do think this adds a great flavor. And then finally, a little bit of cider vinegar. And I like what this does to kind of bring up the tanginess. Our key here is just to get this nice and mixed up. And now I'm gonna take some of it out that we can use as the sauce when the burgers are done. The reason we wanna keep them separate is we're going to end up glazing the burger, so we'll be dipping our brush in and then touching the raw meat. And you wanna make sure that you keep some separate if you're gonna use it as a sauce. So I've got both. Now we can start on the burgers themselves. I am using, because this is a meatloaf hamburger, a combination of veal, beef, and pork. It's called a meatloaf mix, and it's very delicious. If you want to use straight beef, that's absolutely fine, or use a combination of pork and beef, use about half and half, it's great, and you can, you'll do just fine with that. Because we want these to stick together a little bit more like a meatloaf, we are going to use an egg, which you don't normally do in a hamburger, but you do in a meatloaf. All right. We're going to do a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, one of my favorite words to say, and just a little. And this helps to add some seasoning, some saltiness. It's a great flavor. And then of course you have to do salt and pepper. And a fair amount of both because otherwise your burgers end up tasting kind of bland. Okay, there's a lot of disagreement about this. Some people say, oh, don't touch your food, blah, blah, blah. But I think for this, the best tools you have to mix it all together are your hands. Start with super clean hands. We're gonna get in there and mix it all together. And then when we're done, we're gonna wash our hands again really, really well. If this really grosses you out, you just can't do it, you can get um, gloves, you can get gloves, latex gloves, that a lot of chefs use. And then you don't have to touch it and you just peel them off when you're done. For me, I just do it this way, it's what I'm comfortable with. Now I'm gonna make this into four burgers. We could call them man-sized burgers, but I think I could eat one myself. They're gonna be nice big burgers. So you wanna make sure that you have them all roughly the same size. Okay, we're gonna gather this up and form it into a burger. Now, you want to mash it together. You certainly want it to hold together, but you don't wanna compact it so much that it ends up being kind of tough and dry. We don't want that. Right. And now we're gonna put these on a nice clean tray because that's what we're gonna to use to get it out to our grill. So we're moving from my kitchen to the patio where I have my grill nice and hot and the grate is oiled, so nothing's gonna to stick to it. We're gonna get our burgers on here. This sounds great, it looks great. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cover up the grill so it works kind of like an oven. I can do this. And we're going to cook these for about five minutes and then we'll flip them over and give them a little bit of sauce and maybe some cheese. Now with this particular burger, because we have egg in it, and because we're using ground pork, we wanna cook them all the way through. We don't wanna have a medium rare burger in this case. And part two, we are ready to get our sauce on here. Just gonna brush it on. And we're gonna let these cook maybe another four minutes. Now, if the dads in your family are big on cheese, feel free to add some cheese in maybe the last minute or so of cooking. These are ready to come off. And I have buns that I've toasted. I put a little bit of sauce on the buns as well. Ah, these are gorgeous. All right, I'm heading back inside to feed my family. Thanks so much for joining us. And don't forget, you can find this recipe at dispatch.com food. See ya.